So the master himself, the man, the legend among legends, one of the greatest stand-up of all time, December 25th at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. He will be there through the millennium. The one, the only, Rodney Dangerfield. crowd what a crowd i'll tell you more right now but last week i was in rough shape you know last week i saw my psychiatrist i told him doc my wife comes home so late well last night she came home must have been three four o'clock in the morning he said it was 2 30. <laughs> no last week was a rough week when i sat my kid down i told them all about the birds and the bees he told me about my wife and a butcher <laughs> I tell you, my wife never went for me, you know. Last night I told her, honey, you know what I say, that sex makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. She told me, consider myself sick, poor, and stupid. <laughs> All right. Who came in? What happened here? Now, last night was a rough night. My wife sent me out to buy a dozen condoms. When I got home, she took four of them and went out. <laughs> Oh, one night she said she'd like to have a threesome. I said, okay, and then she brought in two other guys. <laughs> I mean, that's the story of my life. No respect. Don't get no respect. <laughs> uh, well, when I was a kid, they picked up my own man for child abuse. They saw me, they let him go. <laughs> my old man. Well, once on my birthday, I told him I want to watch, so he let me. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was poor, too, very poor. I told my old man, I don't even have a ball to bounce. Next thing I knew, I woke up, I had one testicle. Have a seat there, Rodney. First, I want to say one thing, okay? Yeah. I recorded a religious song called He, and people say when you listen to it, something good happens here. So hit my website, Rodney. Listen to he, and when something good happens to you, email me and let me know. That's Rodney. Okay. Rodney, What's right. happening otherwise? Huh? Good. Good you. Rodney. Now you're up. You're going back to Vegas? I'm going back to you Vegas. You like it there? If you're going to be out of town, be in Vegas, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah, like MGM, yeah. they treat me right there. Yeah. It's okay. And I'll be there for, as you mentioned, December 24th for the, for the millennium. millennium. And I close it January 1st. But I'll be there December 26th is my anniversary. I'm married six years. Oh, I'll there be you there go. then. Yeah. There you go. Six good. years. Six years, yeah. <laughs> Boy, it seems like yesterday, you know? <laughs> now, you know what a lousy day yesterday was. <laughs> No, my wife and I, we hit it off pretty good. Yeah, you know? yeah, hit there's it off. Nothing I wouldn't do for her, there's yeah. nothing she wouldn't do for me. That's good. Been that way for six years. Yeah. We do nothing for each other, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. 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 Great job. Great job. No, I tell you, when you're married, arguments start over nothing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, the other day I was in a restaurant with my wife, you mm -hmm. know? A girl came over and said, well, won't you walk away? My wife said, who is that? I said, look, don't you start. I'll have enough trouble explaining to her who you are. <laughs> now, when you're married, there's always problems. Problems, always yeah. Problems. yeah. You know, yeah. I notice lately, every time after we have sex, my wife runs to a neighbor's house. <laughs> yeah, I found out she's used foreplay. Really? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though. When my wife has yeah. sex, she screams. Ooh. Yeah. Especially when I walk in on her, you know. Ooh, <laughs> Hey, you know, my wife, a lot of ways, we don't think alike, you no, know? No, no. like, I like to go to a nude beach, you know? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't want to go, you know? Yeah. I get a kick out of a nude beach. I yeah. went to one nude beach. I had a wedding there. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knew who the best man was, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it turned out to be the lifeguard. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was something. This life, I tell you, he was really built this yeah, life. Yeah, well, well, he entered a three-legged race by himself, you really? know? Yeah. Oh, boy. That's all right. I'll tell you, he was built. Boy. Yeah, that's up. I'll tell you what happened. He pole vaulted over the finish line. Pole vaulted, yeah. Really, right, right. 
<laughs> oh, I saw one guy in a beast there weighed 100 pounds. Yeah? His testicles weighed 50 pounds. Really? He told me he felt sick. I told him, you're not sick, you're half nuts. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you, people are nuts, you people know? People are nuts, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I went to an AA meeting. There was a two-drink minimum. Really? really? <laughs> I tell you what makes me nuts, traffic. traffic. Oh, I go nuts in traffic. I can't take it. I was in traffic the other day. I went yeah. so crazy. I gave a girl a finger, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, she told me you can take that finger and shove it where the sun don't shine. I said, okay, pull over. <laughs> So last week I got involved. I don't yep. know what happened. I mean, I ended up, I had phone sex with a girl who was hard of hearing. <laughs> I told her, I said, I'll show you sex. I'll turn you upside down. You sex freak, I'll bang. All I heard was what? <laughs> I have a girls, I never had any luck. No luck with girls, no. Girl. I'm not a good looking guy. You yeah, know? yeah. Well, my dog found out we look alike. He killed himself, you know? <laughs> You kid, I mean, I I know I'm ugly. You kid, yeah, yeah. four gay guys saw me and went straight. Really? Really? Wow, that's tough. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm ugly. You kid, that's, that's tough, right? You know when you're ugly, you're like, well, my proctologist, he stuck his finger in my mouth. Good <laughs> crying out loud. And I tell you... Yeah, in your mouth. Uh, in my mouth, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you. That's rough. I tell That's you, rough. I was an ugly kid, too, you know? Ugly kid, yeah. On Halloween, I had a trick-or-treat over the phone. Really? Yeah, yeah. Very ugly That's kid. That's terrible. Well, in high school, I was voted most likely to masturbate, you know? Yeah. And that's how ugly I was. <laughs> Oh, death, where is thy sting? <laughs> what am I doing here? I should be out looking for rich gay guys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm happy about one thing, though. Yeah, my daughter. Happy? My daughter's very happy. Very oh, happy good. my daughter. Yeah. Good, she's yeah. doing a pilot. <laughs> yeah. pilot yeah. I don't know what airline he's with, but she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I me, mean, I always got the same problem, weight, you know, weight, oh, weight it's rough, oh, it's you, yeah. when you get older, it sticks to you, no yeah, weight, I'm, yeah. I don't exercise, I'm lazy, yeah, yeah. oh, I got an uncle who's really lazy, yeah. oh, I mean, lazy, you want to know how lazy he is? Sure, I'll yeah. yeah. My uncle's so lazy, he married a girl who was pregnant. <laughs> no, that's, like, that's, that's lazy, that's, right. that's lazy, yeah. And yeah. today, I'll tell you. And today they got the cutest kid, you know? Yeah, yeah. He looks just like Clinton. Yeah, really, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. uh, the big one is age, the age. age I'm getting another kid, I'm getting old now. Oh, yeah, are you kidding? Yeah. You get older, you know you don't think right. You make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. A few days ago I made a mistake. I dropped all my Viagra pills in the toilet. Really, yeah. <laughs> now the lid won't stay down. Yeah. Now you get older, it gets rough. You kidding? Yeah. The other day I said, to my wife, I said, what's that old shriveled up thing on grandma? She said, grandpa. <laughs> Get old, you kidding me? I got no sex life. No sex life? I remember the last time I felt an erection, I was at the movies. <laughs> the only trouble is it belonged to the guy sitting next to me, you know? <laughs> Jay, yeah. I always have a good time here. You're the best, and this audience is dynamite. Well,